Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to extract the OFP firmware that OnePlus, Oppo and some other OEM uses. So by default, when you download the firmware, you will get a couple of files including the OFP file. But as you could see, there are no IMG or bin file. In other words, there are no partition files. As a result of which, you will not be able to get hold of the VBMeta file for disabling verification or the boot IMG file for patching and flashing by matches to obtain root and also task. So by default, there will be no such files because all the partition files are there inside the OFP file. So as of now, you will first and foremost have to extract this OFP file. And in this video, we'll show you how to do just that. So let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to install Python onto your PC. So refer, go to this link and download the latest build. Once you've done the download, launch the exe file. So let's do this and first and foremost, please make sure to check mark add python to path. This is very important. So please make sure to check mark this and then click on install now. You could also change the directory where it's being installed. As of now, I'm using the default directory, which is C users, username, app data, local programs, python and python version number. If you want, you may choose custom installation and change the path as well. But I'm using the default path. Likewise, again, I'm repeating, please check mark add python to path and now click on install now it will now install python and will take only a few seconds if this is the first time you are installing the python you might get one more prompt at the end so let me show you that as well so you will get an option to disable path length limit as well so please make sure to select this as well in my case i already installed python beforehand so i will not get this prompt but if you're installing it for the first time you will get this as well so make sure to choose it so that you could easily bypass the 260 character path limit as well so once you have done the selection with this the python has not been installed so you will now close it and let's now proceed ahead so next up you will now have to get hold of the oppo decrypt tool it's an open source tool so let's go to its github page and there is no release not an issue Simply go to the code section and click on download zip and let's now download it and it will now download all these files and with this the download is now complete. So let's access it as well. Let me go to the downloads folder and as you could see this is the Oppo decrypt master zip. So simply right click on it and select extract all and choose extract. With this we have got all the files of the Oppo decrypt decrypt master as you could see these are the same files which is hosted there on github so once you have done the extraction you will now have to copy all these files and transfer the file to the location where you have installed python so let me first show you in my case i've used the default directory of installing python so the default location is c users username app data local programs python so let me show you that as well currently i am in app data local programs and this is the python folder and let's go to the python version number and this is the directory where the python is installed and from now onwards we will carry out all the tasks inside this directory itself so first off you will have to extract the output decrypt master tool and then copy all the content all the files from here and transfer it inside the python directory so let's do that apart from that you will now have to get hold of the OFP firmware for your phone for your oneplus or oppo phone so get hold of the OFP firmware as well so this is the OFP file so copy it and transfer it inside the python directory as well it might take a few seconds so let us just wait for that to happen and then we'll move ahead with the next step so while the file is being transferred let's now proceed ahead to the next step so now you will first and foremost have to install a few requirements so for that go to the python directory and type in cmd in the address bar and hit enter this will launch command prompt inside the python folder so guys we are now inside the python directory as you could see so first of all you will have to install the requirements for that simply copy this entire command and paste it in the cmd window and hit enter it will now install the requirements if for some reason this command is not working then you could also use this command let me show you you could also use the command given here the python space dash m command should also work if the pip3 command is not working then you could also use the python space dash m command and install the requirements anyways moving on once you have installed the requirements 
you will now have to verify if your phone has a Qualcomm chipset or a MediaTek chipset. For that, you could either use a third-party app such as CPU-Z and verify it from the model section or you could also simply go to the page of your phone manufacturer in case in case of OnePlus, for example, currently I am using a OnePlus Nord CE2 and in case of there, if you go to the performance section, you could verify that it's an MTK chipset. So in my case, I'm using a OnePlus Nord CE2, which has a MediaTek chipset. So I'm using that command. So as you could see, both of them have separate commands. In case of Qualcomm, this is the command. And in case of MediaTek, this is the command. The only difference in the command is of QC and MTK, as you could see from here. So currently, in my case, it's a MediaTek phone. So make sure to replace the extract location by the folder name where you are doing the extraction. So in my case, I am doing the extraction of the OFP firmware inside a folder which is named as not CE2. So just keep in mind that there should not be any space between the folder name. So I'm using the not CE2. So let me now copy this entire location. So this is the location where I will be doing the extraction. And apart from that, let me now copy the rest of the file name command yes apart from that we'll also have to rename the file name according to the name of the file so let's do that as well first off let me copy this command as well so i am again repeating it for the mtk mediatek you could verify for the qualcomm as this is the qualcomm command and this is the mtk command so as of now i'm using the mtk rom so i'm using the second command so i am using this command and this is the extract location where the OFP file will be extracted and now let's rename the file to something shorter. So this is the file. Let's rename it to oneplus and the complete name becomes oneplus.ofp. So I will change the command accordingly. It will be oneplus. So in your case, you will have to verify if it's MTK or Qualcomm. And apart from that, change the file name accordingly. Likewise, change the extraction folder accordingly. Just make sure that there is no space in the name of the folder. Once you have got this entire command, simply copy it and paste it in the CMD window. So let's get the job done and hit enter and the extraction will now begin and it will take up to five to six minutes. The super IMG file will take maximum amount of time. So let's just wait for the extraction to complete and then we'll be back. So guys, the process is now complete. And as you could see, we are getting the file successfully decrypted to the directory of our choice. Let's now verify the same. So let me go to that folder. And as you could see, let me show you once again, this is the Nord CE2 folder. And inside that I have all the files in the IMG and bin format. This is the boot IMG file, which I could use for root. And apart from that, the logo file and all the other files, which we could now use in, and it's the recovery IMG file. In fact, it's now the fastboot ROM. We could flash all these files to their respective partition using the fastboot enhanced tool or manually via the fastboot command and get the job done and this is the vb meta vb meta system vendor and all the files are there so guys this was all from this video you will just have to keep a couple of things in mind first and foremost is the fact that whether you are using the qualcomm chipset or the mtk chipset and the command varies accordingly moreover simply replace the file name as well as the extract location according to the folder just make sure that there should not be any space between the folder name. Just keep this point in mind and the tool will then extract the firmware in a couple of minutes. So guys, on that note, I round up this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.